good evening family and i'm back with another video yes i am trying them out trying to see what sticks what y'all feel good about and can we have a conversation about it okay subject matter that is well we hear that sheree whitfield is becoming bosom buddies with um kenya moore <laughs> And they were fighting just about their houses. Who house was the best house? Who castle was the best castle? More Manor or Chateau Charest? You know what I'm saying? Yes, honey. Bravo is meeting with her. That's some gorgeous lipstick on her. Hmm, I like that. But anyway, I got off subject. I tend to do that from time to time. But if you're uh, a regular to the show, to the family affair, you know I do that every time. So it shouldn't bother you by now. But anyway, yes, honey. Bravo is looking, looking to bring Sheree Whitfield back to the platform for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So hopefully they're not lowballing her anymore and they're giving her some of what she's worth, okay? I can only see her being the bone collector really again. Maybe she'll give us a little bit more. Maybe she's dating someone at this time. I know they do have a storyline out there about her missing mama and where she been. Some people said it was joy abuse. Some people said she was just escaping dementia. I don't know. Maybe Sheree will shine some light on it um, if they get her back as a storyline. Who knows, okay? But, um, yeah. Uh, they say Bravo is in talks with Sheree Whitfield, and they're talking the kind of money that she wanted them to talk about three seasons ago, but they wouldn't give it to her, okay? But, hey, they can't bring Frazier back because it seems like they still stuck on litigation on possibly maybe Candy bringing litigation against them uh, for bringing her back and all this crap. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I guess you have to be walking in candy shoes to truly understand what she was saying about how it devastated her when it came to uh those charges alleged charges that Portia had got from Carlos King or Phaedra had got from Carlos King and you know it had went on down the pipeline and about time it got down to Candy found out about it. it had been told about six or seven eight different types of times and the story changed here and there and this is what it is okay but from my understanding, we could counsel Phaedra ever coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta unless they were just purely desperate, okay, for ratings. And as we know, they're not. They're not. The women are hitting it real hard, uh, especially Nene, Kenya, and Portia. They're doing their job. The rest of them, they just towing the line, I guess you could say. We ain't expecting too much from Cynthia. Uh, you know, it just is what it is. She just give us what she can, or she just give us what she can, <laughs> and we go with it, okay? We don't fault her, we don't blame her, we just ride with her, okay? But anyway, she trying to make Noel, which is calling herself fluent in the lesbian community, that she's gay, but I think it's just a lifestyle Noel just putting up with right now. Uh, I can see her with a, a heterosexual, I can see her in a heterosexual relationship. Uh, sexual relationship later on down the road. But that's just me, you know. That's just me. I think she's just testing out the little women's pawn and she's going to really find out that she's going to want a man later on down the road. But, it, it, you know, it just is what it is. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be, be, be wrong or, or uh, excuse me, or not. Just depends. I had to repaint my fingernails. I don't like this color. I thought I liked it, but I didn't. Kind of had a shimmery type of gold tan to it, but I'm not feeling it, y'all. But I went off the uh, subject topic, didn't I? You know I go that way. But anyway, yeah, they, they're romanticizing uh, Miss uh, Trey Whitfield to try to lure her back in into the clutches of the Real Housewives of Atlanta ratchet tree. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go on again. We're with Celebrity Insider. Uh, same journalists are Ricky Mathers out there giving us a salacious story to partake of if we would like to. Okay, and we would. That's why we're coming to the platform. And I'm inviting my family affair to come on and weigh in with me about subject matter. But she titles her article, Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 13 Rumor. 
Phaedra Parks not in talks to return, but Sheree Whitfield is, and here's why. Okay? It goes on to say, while some of the ladies have already received their contracts, others are still negotiating. And we do know that's Nene. All day, every day. Hell, Candy might be negotiating over there too. No, I take that back. Candy's kind of solidified. Kenya might be over there uh, trying to figure out how much money she can get. But anyway, that's just my pun intended, not in this latest article. Going back to the article, it says the rumors that NeNe Leaks has been axed are allegedly not true. But there is even more interesting talks about who will be returning. After fans begged for Phaedra Pauls to come back, I was one of them, yes I will. Uh, the word on the block is that it was no. It was a no for her. This is said to be due to the fact that Phaedra spread that nasty rumor that Candy Burris was planning to drug and sexually assault Portia Williams. Okay, in a time where Bravo is attempting to cut ties with their problematic stars, or problematic stars, it would be too risky of a move to bring her back. Especially considering that Candy is still not completely over the shocking allegations or accusations, even though it's been years. And I'm like, yes, it's been years. Let it go. Let it go, Candy. Let it go, girl. But anyway, maybe we can get somebody in more. Uh, well, hell, we can bring Shamil back. She'll be more ins- interesting to watch than Candy Burris. But it is what it is. And if we're bringing Sheree Whitfield back, I don't see why we would need Candy. Because Candy's pretty much been the bone collector, really, running around there. We got the poor true to form bone collector which has always been Sheree Whitfield then why would we need candy but you know hey they like her we love her or they love her we like her okay but anyway going back to the article it says um however another fan favorite is said to be in talks with the network which is Sheree Whitfield the she by Sheree found is on good terms with Kenya Moore and fans would like to see their new neighborly dynamic now that their feud is put to rest. Is it really put to rest? Is it really put to rest, child? Y'all get Sheree back on this filming uh segment. She's gonna be tearing Kenya more ass up all over again, honey. And I'm gonna be that forward. I'm gonna be that forward, yeah. I am. But anyway, it was good banter between them, but it's not like how Nene and Kenya get into each other's behinds. You know what I'm saying? But just moving on, I digress. We go back to the article. It says a real housewives of Atlanta's fan page. Spill some of the tea on a post from Thursday night. It said, My good sis at L. Brody1686 at Hollywood Life has spilled some Real Housewives of Atlanta tea, which pretty much lines up with what I thought was going to happen. I had a feeling everyone would be brought back. However, we know now that Eva Marcel has left. But that leaves Portia, Candy, Kenya, Nene, and Cynthia, and Marlo, and Tanya all ass back. Uh, roles will probably stay the same, but things may, of course, change within the course of filming. I've been saying Sheree would be a great fit to come back right now. Her and Kenya are on better terms, and it'll be good to check up on what's going on in her life. And like I said, nah, they just want to get nosy. They want to see why Sheree mama got missing for, what, two weeks didn't call nobody. They ain't called to check on her. But then, you know, hey, it was a whole big deal. They needed to find her, right? That's a storyline for Sheree. Then they probably want to be nosy and see if Sheree's still messing with the in-prison guy. You know, what's going on with that? That's another storyline. Uh, and then it could be showcasing on her children, which for all intent and purposes, we don't want to hear about. Okay? Um... But that will probably be it. That's just my sidebar. But going back to the article, <coughs> it says, uh, Unfortunately, Phaedra's not in talks, y'all. But I had a feeling she wasn't anyway. Maybe another season. Bravo also wants to test out two to three girls to join the ensemble cast as well. I predict we will have seven full-time peaches for season 13. This is going to be a good season, I'm sure. Would you like to see Sheree would feel back. Hell no. I would. But if it was to replace Ken, sure, bring her on. And bring on two or three more new people. Okay? New people. I mean, I don't know if we want to bring Tamar Braxton on them. It might be a good fit because then she'll turn on Candy. And it'll be on like popcorn. Okay? So I can see that dynamic. 
Uh, who else they probably had said they wanted to bring on that I can remember? Huh. I don't know. I guess that was it. Hell, they want to bring Wendy Williams, but Wendy Williams, so she don't like that trash show anyway. Like her show is all that better, okay? But anyway, I digress. <laughs> but yeah, we can't have two bone collectors. We can't have it. Oh, that's a pretty picture of Sheree, isn't that? That's a gorgeous picture. She should have been a model. I thought her. I don't know why her and Cynthia didn't team up or whatever happened to the Bailey modeling agency anyway. Okay, I'm not really sure, but anyway, yes, yeah, so Sheree's coming back. Bring her back. We have nothing but loves and kisses and hugs for her <laughs> over here, and we'll see what she can bring. Hell, maybe she could stir up some trouble. Excuse me, between Candy and and something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Can we need to bring Candy out? Can, can ain't ain't showing us too much of nothing. Damn sure don't have for Mama Joyce. But it just is what it is. We need some more. Like Nene said, we need some more other lives showcasing uh, out here instead of hers all the time and Portia's all the time. Yes, we do need to see some behind the scenes uh, mess, drama. That's what we're here for. We're not here for all the creams and apple pies and the unicorns and all this stuff. No, we're here for drama, mindless fruitless drama okay but it is what it is y'all if everybody can get down and tell me what color lipstick that is that is gorgeous i just love that lipstick okay but anyway that's all i have for this uh particular video very cute very sweet very to the point do we want sheree whitfield back yes is she gonna bring some drama and she gonna bring some more stuff talking about she trying to be a designer here there and everywhere I, I, we don't want it unless you're gonna bring dwight back <laughs> that was page of friend she was co-signing on and bringing him out every possible chance she could it wasn't any friend at one time at one point uh, uh reference when it, uh, i guess the first three seasons but then they really fell out then, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know Kim, where Kim Zodiac and Sheree Whitfield fits in at this time. Really don't know. Yeah, but y'all see she's, what is that, she by Sheree? Did we ever get any clothing? So, did we ever get some joggers? You know, she's supposed to have a fashion uh, for the athletic person, but it looks like casual. I, hell, I don't know where she's going with it, but. Y'all do remember when Phaedra represented Sheree in her divorce <laughs> proceedings of child support. And she lost that case miserably. That was funny as hell. I don't know how uh, her ex-pro football player that was dabbling here and there in uh, uh, the turning field or lowering field. And he won his case. <laughs> and, and, and ain't even became a licensed attorney for the state of Georgia or any type of state. But he won against a, a, a reigning uh, licensed professional in the attorney field at law. Okay, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't understand that one. But that was funny as hell, too. But y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos, okay? Because it's featuring you all, too. And, you know, they I'm sure people get down in them comments and read what y'all wrote or say about subject matter. Hell, maybe me at the time. I don't know. But, hey, it's all one love. It's all one love. But um, get down in the comments. Y'all let me know. I'm kind of congested now. I think it's going to be my last video. Because <sighs> I am congested. And I'm tired. And I have to go to work tomorrow. Okay. But y'all enjoy y'all some Sunday evening. And I will talk to y'all very soon. Good night and blessings. Peace.